Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Venn and Happy New Year. We are talking today about why do you need vitamin K? Vitamin K, as I was reflecting on other videos, I'm gonna go over what it does, specifically not too much detail, and then tell you what foods have vitamin K in them. So vitamin K regulates your calcium and it keeps your calcium in your bone where you want it, but it keeps it out of your arteries where you don't want it. So we want you to get your vitamin K through food or nutrition or supplementation, just you wanna get it in your body. So that being said, I have a supplement that I sometimes use by orthomolecular at our office and it's got a combination of vitamin D and also K2 in it. There are two types of vitamin K. One is gonna come from your vegetables and the other is going to come from your dairy products or kombuchas. So I thought I would name about a bunch of foods that you may get your calcium from and, and it, knowing that yes, you should probably supplement. Maybe you'll, you'll wanna get a vitamin D3 case uh, combo. Um, and also to let you know, it helps with prevention of disease like cancer. So it helps and is known to help with tooth decay, osteoporosis, and prostate cancer, lung cancer, liver cancer, and leukemia, just to name a few. So it's a big deal. It's sort of a forgotten vitamin that we have a tendency to forget. We need it to also help us with CoQ10, um, and it gets depleted with when you take a lot of statins, okay? If you're taking statin drugs, cholesterol medications, blood, blood pressure medications, any type of statin that you may be on could be depleting your vitamin K. So it's just important that you're taking or making sure you're getting it in. Contraindication is it's, it's supposed to lower the effectiveness of your warfarin. So um, patients, unfortunately, who have or are on blood thinners may have difficulty taking vitamin K or they may have to adjust how much vitamin K compared to warfarin. Um, so the foods that it's in and it's highly found in is kale's number one. Brussels sprouts, NATO, which is a some kind of um, processed soybean. It is a fermented soybean. Uh, broccoli, cabbage, scallions, prunes, uh, fermented dairy, extra virgin ob olive oil. And remember when you use oils, that when you cook certain oils at certain temperatures, they're not as effective anymore. So you wanna ha try to have that over your salad, less cooking. Cucumber, uh, plain soybean, dried basil, which I thought was interesting, and asparagus. Those are just about 13 different uh, sources for vitamin K. But just remember, it is it regulates your calcium absorption. That's what its main deal is and why it's so important. In addition, it helps your, you coagulate. Everyone knows vitamin K is there for blood clotting, but they don't really realize its benefit for the calcium balance. And Americans, as Americans, we eat way too much calcium. I know the milk commercials say milk does the body good and calcium is so good for you. But we, if you have too much calcium, it, like anything, too much of a good thing it ends up being bad. So you need to be in a, a nice balance. I'm Dr. Amy Ben. If you have any more questions, give me a call or shoot me an email. Thank you. Bye.